Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts, and today I'm showcasing 16 shillelaghs that I made there recently. And I'll be putting all of these uh, shillelaghs um, online shortly. And I just thought it'd be interesting just to kind of make a video where you can see them all kind of lined up against each other because they're all little shapes and different sizes um, and, and this batch of sticks uh, as you can probably notice there I kind of went for sticks that seem to have plenty of uh, knuckles and uh, plenty of nice little features um, <clears throat> all of these would be traditional um, in that they're painted black um, all made from one piece of black thorn wood as well there's no attached handles in any of these uh, you know my feelings on these uh, these these imitation black thorns um, you know you really want to get like a like a one piece type of stick like uh, such, such of these ones as well um, you know the handles um, they're all quite quite nice here let me just do a quick kind of uh, once over there on the uh, the handles so you can kind of see them all together they're actually all turned out pretty nice. So this is actually quite quite a nice nice batch of blackthorn. Uh, probably over the next uh, hour, I'll be uploading uh, these videos. And uh, always remember to buy from rep, uh, reputable, reputable sources. Sorry, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Um, so reliable sources. Um, buy from registered companies. Um, buy from physical locations. Uh, you know, if, if you're spending money and investing in a, a blackthorn walking stick, you want to make rest assured that, you know, you have your consumer rights, that, you know, you get a receipt, you know, the physical address of the, uh, the, the shop that you're buying from as well, because there's been a kind of recent surge of uh, these, these, uh, these Facebook sellers that, uh, you know, are selling kind of black market type of, like of uh, blackthorn. And um, I'm getting emails from people saying you know they they got a stick and uh, they had some issues and then there's some issues of trying to get it returned and if i could give them any advice um actually quite a lot recently for some reason don't know why but um but yeah like it's uh it's very important oh and one actually point i saw on the uh the the youtube comments today when i was uh, reading through it is that um is about um this guy he bought a stick that had been personalized so if you get like a custom stick and you get like a name written into it or burnt into it or etched into it, you kind of invalidate returns with a lot of sellers as well because they use that as an excuse to say, oh, I can't resell this stick because I've personalized it. It's the same with, with any kind of form of uh, uh, personalizing an item. You always have to be very careful when you get something. That's kind of why I don't go into that kind of area of, of personalizing things or etching in things. Like for one, like, you know, if you want to, to personalize, one technique is to burn it into the wood. But with blackthorn, when you try to burn in letters, it, it can, you know, cause it to crack a bit as well. The other ways that people use is literally they just get a Sharpie marker, they write in the wood and uh, just varnish over it. And, uh, you know, it's as simple as that. But just remember, like, the minute they customize and write something personal to you on a stick, it's going to make it even harder to return if you bought the wrong size or anything. And you know, you want to want ease of mind in these days. But look, uh, anyway, you have all of your sticks there. Um, I hope you enjoy them. And uh, as always, thanks for supporting the channel and for supporting a registered real Blackthorn authentic seller. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.